Hello everybody, this is your boy the uh, Mighty One coming at you with some more news. Um this news pertains to the Forbes list of NFL most valuable franchises for 2024. But before I get right into it, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to this video. Please smash the likes and don't forget to hit the notification bell on top of the video or my channel so I may make the great video for you for your enjoying pleasure. And I'm gonna go ahead and get and go ahead and get started. Okay. The um Forbes has a top ten. The Forbes have a top ten most valuable franchises in NFL history. And um there's ten and ten teams. And the Eagles make it make the top ten. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rip before I get to the Eagles ranking at four as where they are in the top ten. You're gonna be surprised to hear this. Um, and I'm gonna do some reading along the way. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the reading first so you can get some idea of what's going on. Okay. For the 18th straight year, Forbes has deemed the Dallas Cowboys as the most valuable franchise in the NFL. According to Justin T. Telebaum of Forbes, the Cowboys are now worth $10.1 billion making them the first professional sports franchise to reach the 10 billion mark. Here's a look at the rest of the, of the top 10. That's Cowboys number one. The Rams are 7.6 million, 7.6 billion. The Ring the Patriots, 7.4 billion. The Giants, 7.3 billion. The New York Jets, 6.9 billion. San Francisco, 49 6.8 billion. The Raiders, 6.7 billion the Philadelphia Eagles 6.6 .6 billion Chicago the Bears 6.4 and the Washington Commanders are 6.3 well all right in addition to seeing their value rise by 12% from the from last year the Cowboys having have an operating income of 564 million which is nearly double the Next closet, closest team. Per Forbes, the Cowboys bought in $800 million in local revenue during the 2023 season, which was more than double the close the closest team in the odds entered the Raiders and the Rams. Dallas has long been among the most valuable franchises in the NFL and pro sports in general, but it has experienced seasonal, I mean, not I see them, sorry. Espanil, Espanil growth, exponential growth over the years. Back in 1998, the Cowboys were worth 413 million, and they have seen an an incredible 2,246 percent increase since then. Even ever, even even since, in as recent as 2020, the Cowboys worth has increased by 77 percent. Collectively, NFL teams are worth an average of 5.7 billion, and even the least valuable team in the in the in, in the in the Cincinnati Bengals is worth 4.1 billion. Forbes noted that every NFL team is profitable with the operating income of at least 56 million, and each. For each franchise, which is something the NFL and Major League Baseball can't even say, the driving force behind the NFL's profitable profitability is its um, plethora of television and streaming deals with CBS, ESPN, ABC, Fox, NBC, and YouTube. Those contracts generally generate about 280 million in revenue per team. It should be noted that on-field success doesn't necessarily have much to do with the valuable the, the, val, the valuations of NFL teams. Of the top ten highest value teams, only four of them reached the playoffs last season, including the Cowboys. The Kansas City Chiefs, who have won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, are, are only the 24th most valuable team at $4.85 billion, while the Buffalo Bills are 30th. 4.2 billion. On the heels of winning four straight 
AFC East titles. And Detroit Lions are 31st at $4.15 billion after reaching the AFC Championship game last season. Although the Cowboys are, have not won the Super Bowl since 1995, nor have they even made it to the NFC Championship game since then, they are an unstoppable force when it comes to generating revenue. Well, in that the case, you would think that they would um, redo the contract of Dak Prescott, but they gave CCD Lamb the contract. They had no other choice because he was going to sell out the rest of the season had he not signed a new contract. Now you got Dak Prescott who's due for a new deal after this season, pending what happens when you got Michael Parsons who also who also will be looking for a new contract. And then you got other players along the way. So you got to look at all of that going into this revenue that they are saying now but you know it's it's amazing that, that, that the Eagles are number the top ten, number eight overall at six point six billion. I, I thought they would I thought, I thought they would have been at least number two or number three in the top ten ranking, but apparently not. So just go to show in in years to come going going forward. I said next probably next five or six years, the Eagles should be a top five ranked um most it's the franchise in the NFL. Penny if they keep winning championships and getting getting much better revenue, then I, I can see the Cardinals. I can see the Eagles jumping from eight to about five, or maybe four, or even high, or, or even as high as three. So we'll see what happens in the next five or ten years. I'm hoping the Cowboys dwindle down while other teams move up because the Cowboys have been ranked in top. They've been ranked number. Like they've, been, they've, been, they've been ranked number one for almost twenty years, according to according to the reports here. So something got to change. Something has to change between now and, that, and when that time comes. We'll see what happens. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to this video. I'm the Almighty Green Talents. And I am out of here. Mm, we rank number eight, six point six billion. I mean, I'm not mad. At least we rank in the top ten. But I hope I hope the next five or ten years between now and then things change and forth the ranking concern. But we'll see what happens there. And again, I'm out of here. Enjoy your Friday. Peace. One love.